Hi everyone. This is Leia from Cruise Now LLC. My name is pronounced Leia, like Princess Leia. Anyways, I'm here to let you know what I'm going to be bringing in a cruise. I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, going to three different cruises right after each other. So to me, whatever I have here will be very important. And I'm sure everything you have and you pack will be important for you too. First of all, you need to bring your passport and make sure your passport is valid. You also need to bring an original birth certificate if your children do not have passports. You also need to bring a valid picture ID. None of the passports, picture IDs, or birth certificates can be photocopied. So it has to be originals that you bring with you. So here we go. This are the things that I am going to be bringing for our cruise. The first thing is because I'll be in three different cruises. I'm being I'm going to bring ginger chews. And this helps a lot. You can buy this at any store, I think. Um, not sure why, where you live, but you can always find it in Amazon. I'm also bringing motion sickness, natural remedy for nausea, dizziness due to motion sickness. And I got this from the supermarket. At the same time, I have asked my doctor to subscribe or prescribe me motion sickness patches. So you put it behind your ear and it should last for three days. But you have to put it four hours prior for it to actually work. So this is the specific one. Charmin toilet seat covers. When you go to excursions, they might not even have toilets, I don't know. But you can bring your Charmin, you can bring toilet paper. When we went to Honduras, last year they didn't have any toilet papers um they actually did but they had to run out and get it and it took them a while so anyways you can bring your toilet paper with you you can bring seat covers and you have no problems laundry bags depending on what kind of cabin you have it can be small mine or ours will be really small. So I don't like the laundry, dirty laundry all over the place. At least I have a bag. We put it there. When it's done, pull this, put in the, the luggage, we're set. Tissues. Just in case you need it, you have it. Disinfectant wipes. I use this for my cabin. I disinfect everything and other things. You will have a lot of um, disinfectant um, liquid when you're in the cruise. Make sure you use it all the time. You don't know where people's hands have been, so just be safe. You don't want to get anything while you're in the cruise. Flushable toilet wipes. You know what it is. Lanyard. This lanyard, I actually had it created, isn't that neat? I get this to all my clients. You need to have your key card with you all the time. But if you don't have a pocket, if you have your bathing suit, where are you gonna put it? This is why you have your lanyard. They actually sell a lanyard while you're in a cruise, but it can cost 15 to $20, depending on what kind it is. And I don't want to spend that much for a lanyard. You know, this doesn't cost that much. Well, what they sell is special, so. 
what you just need to do, go to customer service, have them punch a hole in the corner, put it in here, and voila, you'll have your key card with you all the time, as long as you wear your, la your lanyard. Zyrtec, just in case you have allergies, bring it with you. Same thing, a leave for pain. They do have a pharmacy area, not specifically a pharmacy, but it is an area where you can purchase things that you need. The only thing that they don't have are for dental stuff. Like, let's say if you have a crown and it's a loose crown, you go to your cruise, but they don't have dental cement. So if you want to bring that, bring it with you. Um, you can purchase that prior to your cruise just to be on the safe side because uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money and that's just going to save you some. Well, like, not a lot of people bring a lot of clothes. Sometimes I hardly bring any clothes. I was lucky enough to find these um, package wool light, wool light so I can actually wash my clothes hang them to dry. Sunglasses, you need them with you all the time. And I just put them in my sunglass pouch. It's set, even has a hook, so I can hook it in my bag. I'm gonna bring this bag with me. So yeah, I put this on my waist. I can hang things around it, put stuff. When during my excursion, I'm also going to bring this portable chair um, because I have potty shoes. I bring it along with me. I also bring a beach bag with me just in case. Another thing is because they don't have much outlets, we'll be bringing this. And if you have a lot of electronics, you can plug all of them there so you won't have any issues and you can bring as much as you can. During your cruise, when you're out near the pool, um, it gets pretty windy. And at times when you put your towels in the back of your chair, they'll fly away. So what I do is I bought this. I think I bought these at Walmart. They have special ones, but these were just a dollar. I put this on the towels and you're set. You don't have to worry about flying away. Mugs for coffee because you know they only give you a small cup and that is it. I'm also going to bring these tumblers. So if I have any drinks, whatever drink, water, soda, liquor, I can carry it around with me. You can bring a bigger one if you want. This one, um, I created for my passengers because they will actually be coming along with us. Um, we will be in a cruise together. I'm pretty excited about that, so that'll be really nice having um, my customers with me. And they actually became my friends, so awesome, right? So I'll be handing this to them. And then I have my small little bags that I bring with me. And this is just to organize stuff. You can put your passports, all your important stuff, um, whatever you want to put in it. So I have a lot of small bags that I'll be putting makeup and other things with me. Um, also, don't forget your prescriptions with you. So bring that. And then for the people who are going to be flying to your cruises, make sure you at least fly a day before because you'll never know what's going to happen. You don't want to get a flight delay. You don't want to miss your cruise. Your cruise will not wait for you. So go a day before, get a hotel, and then you'll, you'll be set. And this is uh, airplanes help in-flight air discomfort. I don't know if it works, but because as you can see, I have a cold 
and I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm hoping this would help. I'm also going to be bringing, not this whole box, but Ziploc plastic bags. Just in case I have anything that will, I think will be spilling, I'm going to be putting it, I'm going to be putting it in here, zip it up, put it in my luggage. Remember, you can only put like your big shampoos and all those liquid stuff um, for check-in luggages, not your carry-on. And that's basically it. That's all I have. That's all I'm bringing. As you can see, it's all here. I'm not packed yet, so I need to get going and pack because my cruise is in two days. That's right. I'm leaving tomorrow, staying in a hotel for a conference, and then we're going to have a conference at sea. And then after that, we're going to be do going to two other cruises. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I don't know if I'm really excited because I am sick. But I think I just need the sea. I need the beach. I need to be in the water. <laughs> Anyways, have a great time. Thank you for listening and enjoy your cruise. Bye.